for doing Bollywood today. Oh! Oh! Oh my God, he planned that! That was the coolest thing I've seen. They're doing a really, really classic technique, which is... What's up guys, we are back with a very exciting episode of VFX Artists React. We're doing Bollywood today and- Hey, yo, yo. where did Nico go? Nico had a baby. Yeah, that's right, he had a baby. A beautiful little baby girl. What are we gonna do without Nico here? We'll be fine, we'll just do it ourselves. Yeah, we'll just, we got it. We got it. Hey guys, my name's Sam. I, uh, you, well, you know me. Sam, how did you learn to intro like that? Well, I have a little clip I'm, I'd love to share with you. <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> Bahu Bali! Bahu Bali! So this, th there's a clip from this movie that went viral on Reddit. Oh. These guys all have these sweet shields. They get on this tree and you're like, why are they on this tree? And then it immediately becomes apparent. Oh, oh, that's oh, 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 wait, see, it gets more complicated. That than that. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at that. That's how you intro. That was the coolest thing I've seen. The transition from spinning and to sliding is so sweet. Oh my God, that's the last time they ever plant trees. Oh, Those guys didn't, didn't make it. Make it. <laughs> <laughs> mm, little 300 action. So many splinters, so many boo-boos. That's gotta be all CG. That's so cool though. This is really well made, really well produced. That was like 300 on acid and mushrooms so. at the same time. So they get flung, and the premise is that they're holding on to each other and they curl up into each other to block the arrows. That's kind of what this whole scene is about, is a bunch of crazy stuff. No one cares about physics here. Basically, when they're midair, that's 100% CG. Once his feet hit the ground, it becomes real. That's a photo scan. And then it transitions, Whoa, see right there. See, see the transition from okay. 3D model? Okay, see, yeah, I do see it. This shot is a really good example of CG transitions. Generally, like impact points are some of the best moments in a shot to transition from something that's fake to something that's real. It's a really common trick to look out for when watching any visual effects shot. If you, if you see someone flying and then land on the ground, that transition point is generally the moment their feet touch or anytime there's like a sharp movement. This shot right here, they transition to an element that doesn't have any motion blur. The whole background has motion blur, but the those guys don't. This is the opposite example, where those are three real plates of people on wire work, but when they pull back to show the fall, they have CG doubles that are doing the fall, so they don't have a clear transition point. This is a single smooth camera move, it's slow motion, like there's nowhere to hide that transition. Oh, what the oh. heck? <laughs> And there's, no. they're still just gliding upwards. There's no acceleration that at all, whether so negative or positive. Funny, dude. There's a lot going on in this shot. There's a lot. So there's a lot going on in this shot. Like that Pretty splinter, cool. the the catapult getting splintered into a million pieces. Oh, look at that guy cheering. Yeah, he's oh, holding weird. it up with one hand and pointing at it. It's like a CG dude. Yeah, those are C there's CG people down there. So he's just standing there and he just goes. So this is again what you were talking about, Sam. There's another impact transition from the CG shields to these guys actually jumping. If you look at the shield, like the, the, the lighting and rendering quality of them is really, really close to the live action version. Yeah. You see that? Yeah, it's it, extremely close. I would bet that they're still CG. Because look, see this shield center? It freezes while they're still moving. Yeah. The center middle shield freezes for like four frames while everything else oh, keeps right. moving. It's not actually real yet. It's still the CG shield. And that's how they're able to move them so fast, because those would be heavy. That is smart. Like, I'm willing to bet as the, the main guy comes running in, he's not actually holding the shield. He's, he's got a tiny shield. Yep, yeah, it's yeah. a CG shield. That's the trick. Yeah, just keep people guessing. Is it real or is it not? Because sometimes it is, and sometimes it isn't. Keep the illusion going. That's some good stuff right there. Car number T and 09 BP 
this oh, is this real. Is, this is the Indian Terminator, right? Yeah, and I, this oh, is wait, Indian I've, Terminator. I've seen gifts of this. What? He's got magnet hand. He's like Magneto. Whoa. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, that didn't stop him? Wait a minute. That didn't stop him? He got T-boned and he's still chill. Like, look at that! This guy is, oh, I love this. I love this so much. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, oh my god! Through the whole <laughs> What does he, what does he know that we don't? Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he planned that! He planned that! He knew! I love how they just like filmed this with real traffic, by the way. This is like, they're actually in traffic. They Are don't close the me? roads off completely. Are you kidding me? Is this where he... <gasps> Jean-Claude? It's happening! <laughs> oh, that was a CG person there. There we go. That person was computer generated. Wait, so this guy's on the other side. Oh my god! Oh, that's incredible. Is this like the mask? Didn't didn't Jim Carrey do this in the mask? That sequence is pretty crazy. A lot of the visual effects is right there to enhance and highlight the extreme wire work and rigging work that's done constantly. Because every single time you see someone midair, you see a car floating for a second, like 99% of that stuff is being done with like cranes and rigs and wires. That's what I love about these scenes is the scale. Like literally, it's there's swinging cars around with on people in the cars with people while in the, with with cables. So a ton of the VFX work has gone into painting those wires and those cranes and rigs out. It's an invisible effect, which we're doing an episode on, by the way. So subscribe if you guys want to check out the invisible effects episode. So let's break down some of the actual technical things going on in the scene. His head turning around backwards is a motif in this film. Generally, every time they're doing it, what, they, what they're doing is they're actually doing a green screen plate of the actual actor turning around. Right there looks like a green screen plate. Yeah. That's a real face we're looking at right now. You can see like right over the brow above the eyes here, the specular highlights are right there, and it looks like a real face. But then we cut away, and then we cut back to him, and now, it's, now it looks like a plastic face. It looks, it looks CG. It looks, it looks CG, because you can actually see a little bit of that feathering along the edge of like the top of his head. It's like a soft edge. Yeah. yeah. My son, Chitty Babu, to come on the stage. These are both the same actor here. That's not the same guy. Yeah, it's the same actor, actually. What? It's all about this inventor who creates a robot with his likeness. Some, you know, like, they, they look kind of different enough that I wasn't able to tell it was the same person. Same. And they're doing a really, really classic technique, which is using motion-controlled camera rigs. But it's allowing them to replicate the same shot twice, basically pull an actor from one footage and put it in the other, while having a moving camera. You have the, the background of both different shots with a person in different spots match up exactly. Motion control was invented for Star Wars, because they had to do all these different passes of like the backgrounds and all the different spaceships. And now with computers, you can like program it in, you can just do the same move over and over again. You see it in lots of movies. Uh, the one I really liked was from the movie Limitless. Oh, but look at that. He's hugging himself. Is hey, that... Hey, how do they do that? How, does the, how are they doing that? It's a guy in a suit that is not the actor, okay. and then they're simply doing a head replacement. Okay. That's really flawless. That's, That's pretty good. For as goofy as, like, the physics are in, in a lot of these action sequences, there's a lot of legit visual effects work that's done really well in this piece. I, I feel like clone effects are one of those things that people are always going to keep working on improving. It makes sense though too, cause like cloning myself was like one of the first effects I, I ever did. It was literally my first effect yeah. ever. Exactly, because visual effects artists spend a lot of time alone and when you don't have anyone around you, you need to be the actor in, in all roles. It's basically the first thing a visual effects artist learns. Oh! Shit. Whoa, okay. Hold up. What? Okay. That's awesome. It looks, it looks legit. Oh, man. What? Wow. Just wow. Dude, this is like Katamari from hell. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, dang. Dude. What? This is, dude. How imaginative is this? May I come in? <laughs> yeah, this stuff doesn't look so realistic. It seems ridiculous and it's like, okay, this is crazy, but okay, if you had to film a scene where 50 robot dudes turn into a giant ball and beat everyone up, <laughs> like how do you actually go about planning and do executing that sequence? Because the moment they go into yeah. the sphere, obviously this is all computer generated. Super solid job on the lighting, matching the lighting to that CG ball. And then the heads all spin around. So they obviously have a really high resolution photo scan of his head. There's a million things going on on here which are pretty cool. Several different plates of people getting pulled by wires, and then they combine them all and then transition to the 3D elements of them forming into the sphere. So all the head plates there. It's all legit, oh my so, god. So we thought those were CG. All the faces are practical. Face is the one thing that when you make fake, people tend to notice. All the other stuff you can make fake and really realistic. So they actually they have a, a giant, giant wire ball <laughs> that they use to film these shots, which is exactly how I would do this as well too. It's like, if I have to do a whole sequence with a giant ball, I need a giant ball there to film. And then they're running him through for lighting reference. So, Ren, you see this, this, uh, this ball right here yeah. that he's holding? What is that ball doing? So it's literally just reference for the visual effects artists later to figure out what sort of lighting the scene has. What a sphere shows you really well is the direction of a light and the intensity of that light from that direction. It's, it's kind of hard just to create that stuff from scratch without knowing what it should look like. A lot of the robots are CG in this, but there's an actual child in this robot costume. They crammed a kid in there? They crammed a kid in this, look, cause see where the head has to be? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. The unsung hero is that kid. So we are only scraping the surface here of awesome Bollywood movies. And if you guys know of anything that we should check out, cool visual effects, cool action scenes, leave them in the comments below. We read everything. Okay, so guys, this is a challenge for y'all. This is uh, Singham Returns. This might look familiar. Mission Impossible 3. God dang it, Ren! You ruined it! Immediately! I mean, you're supposed to watch the scene! I'm setting up something really cool for you guys. I right. can only think of one action scene on a bridge Point. that is memorable, and that's okay, Mission right. Impossible True 3. True lies! Okay. True lies! There we go! True now there's lies. options. We have options Easy. now. Easy. <laughs> just play it. Just play, play it. it. Play, play it. it. I'm gonna get He's just gonna... <gasps> Look at those tiny muzzle flashes. <laughs> Look at those muzzle flashes. Not even set to screen. <laughs> I love those. those, those. So he lowered great. himself. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> go <laughs> there. What? Whoa. So look at this. Look at that. Oh, look at yeah. that. <laughs> Does that look familiar? Yeah, that's that's the same sort of hit from Mission Impossible Three. But that's actually, I would argue that that was a way better hit. Nah, dude. Lame. See, look how weak that looks compared to. This. No, but the they got the gravity right. They got they got the motion correct of his fall. The other one looks better, and also the impact is really good. The impact. Yeah, of he crunches, dude. That crunch. Oh my god. Like, ouch. Even on a pad or whatever the heck you're hitting, like. Ah, dude, yeah. you you just got like an inch shorter for, from compressing your spine. <laughs> he folded permanently. into that. There's a little bit of jank involved. Like, oh, his actual fall is linear. There, he kind of like slows down, down as opposed to accelerating. But Him like hitting it is fine, but then like the moment he hits, he kind of bounces off and slows down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, they ramp his speed basically post hit. What do you think? Which one looks better, Mission Impossible <laughs> Three or Singham Returns? Bollywood is as cheesy as it can be. I think it's amazing. It makes me laugh every time. It's really easy to pull one up and laugh at how ridiculous it is. But ultimately, what these guys are doing here, they are, first off, completely disregarding physics, reality, all that <laughs> stuff. They don't just take a normal shot and say, oh, we're done with it. No, they'll, they'll, they'll do anything they can to make it as intense as possible. By the way, like I just oh, want to point yeah. this out. We, we made these videos called uh, Tactical Reloads, and while it may seem that they are like anime inspired, we realized when making the second one that they're actually Bollywood inspired. It's basically how cool 
can you do this mundane task? Like, how cool can your, is your intro? How cool can you light your cigarette? How cool can you just, hey, sit down, you know, offer someone a chair? Yeah, so if you guys have any other Bollywood movies that have cool visual effects or cool stunts, or even like, even like Chinese cinema, things that are a little more unfamiliar to the American audience, leave them in the comments below. We would love to check out this stuff. So it's that time where we thank some of the special patrons who help support this channel. If you didn't know we had a Patreon, now you do. Check this out. Big thanks to all of our patrons, starting off with Nick S. Canadian Goose. Oscar Bunting. Philip Oxford. Astro GG. Alan Almanza. Warmaster236. Not a Canadian spy? Mitch Plansky. Skinky Snack. Glitch Cube. James Bailey. And Brian Antosic. And of course, like any classic movie where you have thousands of visual effects artists, we also have all these names who are patrons of us. Thanks, everyone. And of course, if you want to support us on Patreon, there's a link in the description. Lots of different tiers that you can support us at. It really helps us out. Brings new episodes of this to you every single week. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.